All right, uh, hi, my name is Dylan. Uh, I'm from Throttle Company in Columbus, Ohio. We're actually a Royal Enfield dealer. So I saw two different videos. There's some controversy on the internet, of course. And uh, the two videos in question I'm thinking about are Fortnite, Ryan F9, that does the, he does some great videos. And he talks about the tires specifically from Royal Enfield and says that they are the OEM ones, the ones that come on the bike, are thinner than the ones you could buy aftermarket. They're Pirelli Sport Comp, Sports Comp, and uh, and he says that the claim is that um, the ones you buy are thinner to get cost down and stuff. Whatever. Basically, you're buying a cheaper version with the same name on it. Um, then the controversy comes in when the guy who does a lot of videos on Royal Enfields. Uh, Stuart Fillingham, great channel, great videos, tons of content on Royal Enfield stuff. Both of these guys have great channels. That's where the controversy comes in, I think. Uh, he says that he that they are not that they are not any different, that they're the same thickness. And he contacted Royal Enfield, and they confirmed that they're the same. I think he may even contacted Pirelli, which would be the manufacturer in this case, and uh, they said no, they're the same exact type. So I thought. I happen to have those two tires. Like I said, the opportunity of being a dealer. This one came directly off of one of the bikes that was shipped to us. It actually had some damage that I circled here so we don't actually put it on a bike, but it had a, a bit of a cut through it. And this is directly shipped on a bike from Royal Enfield. And then this one, as you can see, is marked new, $167. Uh, but this is one that we've ordered from, well, through our, our distributor, Parts Unlimited, but uh, this is the one that you would get, the Pirelli Sports Comp, that anyone can put on any tire, it's the aftermarket for them. So, I have not done this, but the first test that I wanted to do was tread depth. That was what Ryan from Fortnite had said. So let's first measure the OEM one. So let's see. If we're looking on this, maybe we measure, we flip it over and see where it comes to on Lincoln. So it's just kind of his hairline. If I if I push it in that thread there, in the center of the tire, that like water main water channel thing, and we'll try it on here. That looks the exact same. Now that's the, not the world's most scientific, and I'm not sure if there's a different way of measuring uh, tread depth. Um, from that point, but test number one seems like in favor of Stuart Fillingham, which is that there is no difference. Let's try a little bit more scientific. So this is sort of a long reach caliper. We've got a zero here. First thing we'll do, let me see if I can show this to you, is basically a pinch in the center. And I'm actually in the tread, but I wanted to go outside just to do it first that way. Let me make sure I'm actually in there. Yep, so I'm touching inside. So 17.4, it was maybe 17.9 when I hit hold. That is the, came on the bike, OEM tire. And then here, let me find a part without the cardboard in it. So this is the, it's a little dirty on that spot, but this is the one, the aftermarket one that you would buy. So, hold on, I'm, I'm just gonna have to do this with two hands. The moment of truth, this says 15.8, but I think I might have just gotten a, a more shallow point in there. Yeah, I, I think that, I think they're about the same, but I'm not having an accurate measurement because it's very hard to kind of reach through this. Yeah, so I think if I really force them together there. We'll say that one is 
somewhere around 15 millimeters. Let's remeasure this one. So that was 15 millimeters for the aftermarket one. And let's use two hands here and make sure that I'm actually, the this tire is kind of, because it's been installed, folded over a little. And I think that that might be the problem. Oh yeah, we're right around 15. So that really is where it's touching. So test number two, and I feel good about this measurement here that uh, you kind of had to turn it at an angle to get around the lip, the bead, but they both appear to be about 15 millimeters thick when you're measuring without the tread basically from this point to the other side. So in my mind, I think that settles it. We can also look at other things this is the one that you order new from Pirelli. It says made in Indonesia. If we look at the one that came on the tire, or came on the bike, I mean, made in Brazil. So they are made in a different place, but other than that, they're nearly identical. And I think that the size, uh, I think the size proves that it's pretty much identical. If you look inside here, you actually see that the inside has kind of a different pattern. That one has more of a, like a stone pebble pattern. And this one has stripes built into it. So that's interesting. But other than that, they appear to be, you know, they feel the same stickiness. They're the same dimensions. So I'm glad that we did that test. That was interesting to figure out uh, exactly the difference between these two tires. So I think at this point, you could be safe to say that maybe at some point they did. Maybe the tires that, that they initially shipped out on Fortnite's test bike or something were a different thickness, but uh, at this point in time, the, the current bikes that are shipping are coming with the exact same Pirelli tires that you would buy straight from Pirelli at this point. So uh, anyway, just a quick video to kind of prove that and go through it, go through it or prove, disprove it, which way, which one, one way or the other. But uh, yeah, check out the Pirelli videos on our channel, which is uh, Flower Company on YouTube or FlowerCompany.com. Uh, we sell vintage bikes. And we also do new oil infields, of course, and we service both those. So, all right, thanks for watching.